Hello everyone, welcome back. Have you ever wanted to create the beautiful light or dark mood in your app? In modern apps, this is a key feature that improves user experience and accessibility. In that tutorial, I will show you exactly how to implement that functionality from scratch. But it's worth mentioning that if you, in nowadays, if you are creating a new app, uh, the boilerplate that comes with the app is most likely going to have that, that functionality already implemented. So I want you to take that video as educational material to solidify your understanding of the use context because the, that functionality depends uh, largely on the use context hook. So I'm going to begin. Uh, I have an empty uh, index.tsx TSX file in here. So what I'm going to do is I will say the style the background is going to be white and also we are going to center the content and here we set uh, the color for the text as you can see i'm just using a very simple ui i don't want to waste time building a large ui i will just confirm uh, a simple ui just to confirm that we are we implemented the functionality in a proper way so let's create a sub component i will create a folder i will call it components and inside the components, let's create uh, just a subcomponent. Let's call it success icon.tsx. And I will go to the expo icons and let me take just, I have prepared an icon. So let's put it in here. And the color of the icon is going to be black. And let's go back into the index. And here, let's uh, import first the success icon and let's display the icon now we have the uh, text and the icon now let's create our context we are going to say new file theme context.tsx i'm going to import the create context and then we are going to uh, ai is helping me let me just be one step at a time so here we are creating the context and we are defining the default uh, values. Uh, the create context takes uh, one argument. It's an object, the default object. And now we have the theme context object. Now let's, uh, let me actually remove that temporarily. And then we are going to create a theme provider function. So now the theme context is an object and we are using a component from that object. It will work as a, as a broadcaster. It will, uh, everything we are going to pass here in uh, the value is going to be broadcasted to all our components. So the purpose of the use context hook is to broadcast information uh, across our entire uh, app instead of just passing uh, our theme or our theme object as a prop. So we are going to pass the theme here in the value. So we will have access to uh, those two variables from all our components. The next step is to define our logic in here. But before defining our logic, let's just pass uh, something simple just to confirm uh, that our components have access on these information. So I'm going to pass the theme and uh, then I'm going to pass the set theme or actually let's create a just a, an empty function. It will be empty uh, function and we are going to pass it in here. Okay, now we, are, we, we will need to wrap our application with that component. So you will have to find the highest file in your hierarchy or you, can, or you need to find the uh, highest component in your component tree and then you are going to wrap it with that component. So currently the highest component I have is the layout. So I will import uh, the theme provider and then I will wrap my stack navigator with uh, the theme provider. Now I'm going to go back to my theme uh, context. Let me make sure everything is correct. And then I will move to my index. And um, the way we're going to consume the information from the context is we first going to import the use context hook. 
and then we are going to import uh, the theme context and then we are going to say const. So what we did here is we are uh, destructuring those two variables from uh, the object, the theme context object, uh, using the use, uh, the use context hook. So this is the way most people consume information from uh, the context. But there is a much cleaner way to do that, which is using a custom hook inside our theme context. So I'm going to remove that. And I will go back to my theme context and I will say, actually, I did a mistake here. I forgot to export uh, the theme provider as a default. And also, uh, let's create our custom hook. I will say use theme. And what it will return, it will return uh, the object. Let me export that. What it will do, it will uh, consume information from the theme context and it will take the object and return it uh, to us. So here in the end days, I will say uh, const theme and toggle theme from the use theme hook. Now there is an issue here, yes, because I'm importing it from the wrong place. So let me correct that. Now let's try to console.log theme. Let's see if we are, if we have access on that variable. Let me open the, yes, in the console, we have lights, so we have access on uh, the context. Now, let's work on the logic. So I'm going back to the theme context. We're going to define, first thing, we're going to define the TypeScript. I'm going to say uh, type uh, themes, uh, or actually, let's call it theme types. It's going to be light or dark or either. Uh, or it will be system, yes. And let's create a function. And let's go into the toggle uh, theme. And we are going to say set theme to be, if the theme is light, we are going to set it into dark. Otherwise, it's going to be light. And let's go back into the index. And then we're going to create a button. And uh, we call it toggle theme and on press we are going to toggle uh, the theme so let's save and let's try that okay that, now it works when we click it changed uh, the theme so now let's go back to our theme context now the default theme currently is the light one there is a much better way to to make it like what if we want to access the device configuration. So we're going to set the default theme to be the device default theme. We're going to use a uh, hook called import uh, use color scheme. And here we're going to say const device theme is going to be uh, to use the hook use color scheme. Now this is either going to be light or dark, but sometimes it's undefined uh, or it returns empty. So you have to be careful about that. And here we're going to set the default to be system. And we can save. And let me organize my code. I will say theme state. And here uh, we are going to set the default theme. It's going to first check if the theme state is still system that means the user has not interacted with the toggle theme button which means we are going to return the device theme which is going to be the default uh, device configuration otherwise we are going to return the state uh, because that means the user has uh, like choose one of the themes either the dark or uh, the light and so we're going to save and let's refresh now I am going to toggle. I'm not sure if this is visible in the recording, but you'll find it, it it's called features. You'll go into features and from features, you will toggle appearance. And if you change it, you will find that our app is uh, our app colors are changing. Now, if we toggle uh, the theme, and again, we try to toggle the appearance. Nothing happens because our action override the uh, the default uh, device configuration. Now, there is one final thing we will have to do in here, which is saving uh, the configuration to the storage. Because 
Uh, if I toggle uh, the theme to be light or dark, and then I refresh the app, what happens is we the app is going to reset the configuration. So what we're going to do is we are going to use a, a, a library called async storage to save the users uh, the option or the, cho the choice that the user has made. Before that, let me fix uh, solve an issue here with the TypeScript. Okay, now it's good. Now I'm going to go into the library page and I will install it. Let me open a new tab and then I will npm install uh, the library. Let's wait for a second. Okay, now let's go into our code. I will import the library and and uh what we're going to do here is we are going to add uh the function or let's put it in a use effect so we are going to say use effect and actually let's create a better version we are going to say const save theme is going to be asynchronous function and we are going to save uh the theme as a theme state so every time we have uh our theme update every time the user click on the toggle theme uh, our use effect let's first import it our use effect is going to be triggered and it will save uh, the theme but let's make uh, a, an if statement let's say if uh, theme state does not equal to system so we make sure that actually the user has uh, clicked on the bottom and let's save and now we are going to use a method to fetch uh, the theme so every time the user open the app we are going to check if the user actually have saved uh, the theme before or not so we are going to again use uh, the use effect and we are going to again uh, set the get theme to be in a synchronous function and we are trying to get uh, the item we are trying to check if there is something saved under that key before if we found something we are going to set it to our state let's save and let's refresh and now let's toggle the theme now we have changed it from the light to dark now let's try to refresh our app okay now we are in the dark theme now let's change it to the light and let's refresh now we are in the light. So now we have saved the state. Every time the user toggle the theme, we are going to save the new state. So whenever the user open the app, they're going to find what they have left. So I hope that video was beneficial to you. And thank you very much and happy coding. Thank you.